Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good evening. What happened um, yesterday? I'm doing great. Thank you. Hey, uh, Walter. Well, I had an issue. I'll be honest oh, with really? you. Uh, yeah, I got stuck. No worries, teacher. Sandra I got... was a teacher yesterday. What? Enjoy oh, really? that, that the hours online. Yeah. Hey, 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 come on. I was not the yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Teacher was a teacher. <laughs> Really? Sandra was a teacher yesterday. Yeah. No, you didn't. You didn't have. Yesterday. You didn't have the class, right? No, we didn't. Yeah, no. but and did. yeah, but um. It's okay, it's Sandra. For the hours. With no. the oh. mm. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, speaking a lot. <laughs> speaking a lot yeah. yesterday. We were yeah. we were reviewing. Only we were reviewing. Yeah. You, you were just reviewing. Yeah. You were yeah. just reviewing. Yeah. Okay. Good. What did you talk about? I, I don't remember. I have amnesia. <laughs> oh, come on, don't say that. <laughs> really? Um, we, were, we were in past perfect tense. Yeah. Yeah, past perfect, right? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is correct. I had known, I had known her. Okay, so yesterday, I'm sorry, I got stuck at the bakery at the last minute, you know. My wife was like, hey, can you go for some bread? Do you still have time? And it was 7.30, right? And I went with my daughter, my daughter, my seven-year-old daughter. Same we went way. to the bakery and I bought the things, you know, as I was and I took my dog too. Oh. So, <laughs> so I had I had already I had already bought everything when I looked outside and it was raining sidewise. Oh my it was raining oh sidewise. God. So I couldn't hear the rain. It was really weird. <laughs> then I a I, lot of steam floating. <laughs> I I Took, hold on, step. I stepped outside. I stepped outside the bakery to look around and I noticed it was getting stronger. Oh, no. And it got really strong out of nowhere. You know, everything just changed right away. It was a huge storm. It was all dark. Lights went off. Lights oh, went oh off. My God. And it was just, it was just two customers inside the bakery. My dog my daughter and me <laughs> and i didn't take my cell phone with me so i i borrowed uh somebody's cell phone and i called my wife and she didn't pick up and i called the house <laughs> and my two my two boys you know my 10 year old and my 13 year old year old didn't pick up the line so mm -hmm. i so i got concerned Okay, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, my wife shows up on the on the door of the bakery, and I'm like, <laughs> "Where is the car? Right? Where is the car? Oh, I just came out of the house, you know, walking with the umbrella to pick you up with the with the <laughs> the, the, the girl. I was like." <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, it's almost 8 p.m. So you know what? Oh my God. Um, what do we do? I don't know. And she she came back home. She was supposed to take the car back with her. And I told her, you know what? Just go back, text them, you know, text, text the academy that I won't make it. It was already eight, you know. So I got home all wet totally wet man it was it was insane i mean the streets were rivers oh. the streets had turned into rivers the streets had turned oh into God. rivers it was crazy i mean i i had never yeah. seen so much water but anyhow but no worries teacher yeah no i mean i'm okay with the <laughs> class uh, i have Jason, never Jason. Jason told us yesterday, uh, you can uh, enjoy the class, speaking. Um, Help another, another person to do the platform too. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stop some exercise. Yeah. Take advantage about the class hour yesterday. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's the way it goes. So tonight the plan is to have a conversation actually about um, cross-cultural experiences. Have you ever been to another country? Yes, I have. I never, I never have a chance of opportunity for that. Really? You've never been to anywhere, no. anywhere else? I well, never crossed the border from El Salvador. Me neither. <laughs> I can't believe you. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you. <laughs> you can't believe me. I but I, yeah. Never. Yeah, I've but never been out I, of El Salvador. Uh, I travel around uh, El Salvador. You've traveled Savannah around. Yeah. You've traveled. Okay. Have you been to San yeah. Miguel? Yeah, La, La Unión. Yeah. Puerto okay. Putuco. Yeah. It, it nice. looks like there's a difference right between yeah. San Miguel and and San Salvador. Yeah. Some cultural differences. Yeah. But do you live in San Miguel or do you live in San Salvador, teacher? Me? I live in San Salvador. No, in San Salvador. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Santa yeah. Ana. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you know, let's, talk, let's start the conversation. This is what I want you to do. I just want you to watch a video and start a conversation with your classmate, you know, make um take notes take notes of any new words okay that you may like on the video and number two come up with a conversation a natural conversation between you two because i'll split you in in couples why are you why are we just eight in the classroom why are we so few what happened here where are the others mm -hmm. Oh my God. Okay, so um, let me tell you about my story really quick. I went to Santa Ana yesterday after a long time. I went to Las <laughs> Fiestas Julias. Oh, I, you I, found I, a lot of traffic, teacher. <laughs> man, when I, I mean, we, we went there, it was like noon, before noon, it was like 10. Yeah. Because the yeah. plan, the plan was to visit my sister-in-law. Yeah. Visit my sister-in-law in Huachapan. She mm -hmm. just had surgery. So we had to visit her. And we went there. Man, we ate a lot with my brother, uh, my wife and my, my kids, you know. We were just having fun. At about 3 p.m., we decided to go to the to the um, uh, yeah. electromechanical <laughs> games, you know, and had some fun, right? Man, but it was crowded. Yeah. It was, it was crowded as hell. I mean, there were too much people. It, it's incredible. I you love couldn't it. believe it. Cars too many cars there was no parking spots i had to leave the car yeah. really far away pay three dollars yeah. which i didn't pay <laughs> i didn't pay the three dollars oh my god i'm sorry anyways but <laughs> in the end we went and we bought some candies the kids went on the electromechanical games they had fun mm -hmm. we were back at about 10 p.m here in san salvador <laughs> what i want to tell you is there's not much difference. There are some cultural discrepancies yeah. between Santanecos and San Salvadorians. I don't know, Capitalinos, I guess. Calla, uh, Capitalinos. For example, me, when I came to San Salvador in 1998, in 1998, when I came to San Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time. Really, yeah, I'm very old. Man, that was <laughs> what, 24, 24 years ago. I was saying las una, for example. Las una. <laughs> las unas. <laughs> las una. What time is it? Uh, son las, las una. una. <laughs> son las una. Las... <laughs> and my cousin was like, la una. Okay, la una. Oh my God. <laughs> right? Okay. What else? I, and things like that, you know, on my way of speaking. Um, one more thing is that many people 
in Santana. Ana. If there is a line, if there is a line of people, they just hook in. You know, they just hoop in. Scooby? They want to hoop in. Like when you hoop, hoop, in. hoop, hoop. hoop in. What is the meaning of it? <laughs> hop in. Hop in. Oh, yeah. uh -huh. They want to hop in. Yeah, hop in. Oh. Hop is like jumping the rope. Oh, hop in. Jump. Yeah, they, they just want to to be saying somehow in some way of saying. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hey, good Teacher. evening. Welcome. Uh huh. I think it's the life. The life in the capital is so fast. I was working around six, six or seven years, years, um, and travel every day from. Monday to Saturday, from Santa Ana to El Sal San Salvador, Ooh. was difficult. So difficult, the life is quickly, I don't know. Santa Ana is so quiet, it relaxed, I think. Yeah, Santa Ana is very calm, too calm. Yeah. This is the right word, and many people in Santa Ana, when they see a line, they just want to sip. They just yeah. want to sip, you know, and that's it. And they go like, <laughs> and then you go like <laughs> anyways and i hate that you know because it's it's it's, it's a cultural problem it's a cultural problem yeah. so okay how about san miguel how about other countries what do you know about cultural exchange now that we are nine okay we are nine so let's work in trios i'll make three small groups so we can work on this um, activity together. Number one, watch the video. Number two, um, share your thoughts, you know, with your classmates. And number three, come up with a conversation, a natural conversation to the class, okay? You okay. got it? Yes. Now, I, I, keep yeah. in mind, keep in mind that I expect to hear from you some new words that you may have found on the video. Okay. 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 Cultural exchange experiences. Okay. It's on your WhatsApp. I'm going to split you now in trios so you can practice. Okay. We are nine, 10 now. Okay. Don't forget to turn on your camera. Let's do it. Okay. You can hear the video? Yes. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. Where are you from? My name is Camila, and I was born in 
Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four, and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago, I went to Sweden, and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different, because here in Brazil, we kiss and shake, and they shake hands. So I went to kiss, like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like they're invading my space or something like that, but it's strange. <laughs> Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Baregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Here, the bus system is private. So there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. <laughs> I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four, and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago, I went to Sweden, and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. So completely different, because here in Brazil, we kiss and shake, and they shook hands. <laughs> so I just like and they oh my goodness what's going on and they felt like doing big space something like that but strange <laughs> Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different. Because here in Brazil, we kiss and shake, and they shake hands. So I went to kiss, like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they found... <laughs> that, like, you're invading my space or something like that. Very strange. I'm in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four. I've lived here ever since. To travel abroad. I had some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camilla and I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four and I've lived. <laughs> Thank you. 
Years ago, I went to Sweden and I lived there for a year. What did you notice know that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other it was completely different because here in Brazil, we kiss on the cheek and they shake hands. So I went to kiss like, and they Oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like they were invading my space or something like that. It was strange. Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Panama. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Aregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman and she was making me lunch one day and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day. The beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico and now I live in the United States. Uh, once. Once in I was in, in Guatemala, I was in Guatemala and with my friend, uh, we went for a few beers and, and we chose a British bar. Uh -huh. Yeah. And because we like it, uh, the way it looked, yeah, very old school punk rock and, and punk rock style. Yeah. And, so when we uh, were when we were asking the order, yeah, uh, the owner came over and asked mm -hmm. and asked where are you and asked where are you from, <laughs> and we asked where the, from El Salvador, yeah, mm -hmm. and say and he said, <clears throat> I love this. Uh, they I say love Bukele, that, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this, uh, they say that they're good uh, for drinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And for drinking beers. Is that yeah. true? <laughs> and I remember that. And, and he had finished it. He hadn't yeah. finished it. 
uh, to ask when we were already answered with a powerful, <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. And then we took photos and did some challenges and we had a great time with them and chatted a lot about both cultures and of course good music because yeah. we, we we love rock music and pasó algo extraño con, con eso porque en realidad sí tenía una perspectiva muy diferente ok 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 <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry uh, I suppose weird I, 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 uh, sorry? Something weird happened. Yeah. Something weird happened. Continue. Uh, something weird they happened. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo se dice engreído? As you say. Uh, Selfish? They were a person, mm -hmm. they were people. Uh, no, people, uh, no. Engreído, um, brag, brag, bragging, brag, mm -hmm. bragging. Uh, yeah, you you told about that, that word, teacher. Yeah, but there's another way. Hold on, brag, brag, vain, someone vain, vain, v a i n, yeah, vain, vain. That's the okay. adjective, that's right. the adjective, vain. Vain person. A vain person. Vain person. Okay. Like a banal in Spanish. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. because it's the fame that has been given to them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you, Saul? Uh, in my case, in Spanish, and. and Yes, I I visit Guatemala and for one week and, and workshop the my company. Oh really? And, yeah, and then I visit a different place, uh, the Guatemala. Um, uh, the food is the food. The typical food is ugly. It's so so delicious. <laughs> the most delicious. Uh, and then. Uh, What is the typical food from Guatemala? Uh, I don't know. I never traveled there. Uh, how do you say teacher tamal? Pero en, en, en... Maca tamal? Tamal. Oh, uh, tamal is tamal. Maca, maca tamal. tamal. Maca tamal. Yeah. Maca tamal. Yeah. yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Pero es un tamal gran, grande y... Oh, 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 oh. You know what? Uh, Americans, Americans call that a cake. Algo así, a cake, a cake. they call it, they call it like a fulfilled cake. Yeah. That's the way they call it. Yeah, okay. I think the ingredients are so different from El Salvador. It's different, it's not, not oh. delicious. Oh uh, my God. No. Uh, and then I, I visit um, Antigua, Guatemala. It's, uh, it's experience in, in a discotheque uh, from different people that are not as they are not as country they are the Suecia, yeah. uh, the australia um okay, the american people yes i, I like it guatemala yeah. you you were you were in It's guatemala a for uh for a week uh, um for a company uh, no it's is uh it's a workshop is on uh um, like In Spanish. Ah, it's it's a taller uh, the 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 regional. Okay. Do you yeah. think uh, that the the people in Guatemala are are hardworking? Yeah. But I think uh, someone told me. Um, told told. Told me. Someone told me. Uh, Guatemala people. <clears throat> uh, Guatemalans. So, uh, Guatemalans. Yeah. Guatemalans are, are yeah, Guatemalans mm -hmm. are so lazy person. But are lazy people. What, are lazy people. What, yeah. is, what do you say gentilicio? In, how do you say English? how do you say gentilicio? What is the proper noun? What is the proper noun for and someone from Manana. Nicaragua? Oh. That, that's what you mean, right? No. How how do you call someone from Guatemala? 
Aprende. Right? Aprende. No, I mean in Spanish, yeah. There's a the, the oh, no, what is the quintil, uh, what is the, demonym. Right? <laughs> demonym. 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 These are words that I don't even use in Spanish. What's what's your gentilicio? Can you imagine someone asking you what is a gentilicio? What demonym. Sounds a lot. <laughs> like a demon. Sounds demon. A, a demon. Demon. Yeah. Uh, that sounds weird. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. yeah, that's the word. That's the exact yeah, word. Yeah. How how do you call someone from? How do you call someone from Guatemala? Guatemalans. Guatemalan. Yeah. Guatemalans. Oh, okay. Salvadorian. Okay. Salvadorian. Okay. Yeah. Salvadorian. Mexican. Nicaragua. There I have a doubt. Nicos. Uh, uh, no, in English. In English. <laughs> Nicaraguans. And that's Nicaraguans. Really weird. Nicaraguans. That, that's really weird. Nicaraguan. Hondureños. Uh, yeah. Nicaraguan. My God. And so on. Uh, okay. Uh huh. So you got the I, idea? I, I don't have a chance to, to travel another country. The only travel. stay in El Salvador, but uh, for my, um, when I was working, I had the chance to travel around the world, around El Salvador, but oh. I know La Union, San Miguel. I think it's a uh, so different cultural experience there. For example, the, the language Spanish sounds weird when you, when you listen or hear another person Speaking sounds real. It's, it's pretty okay. nice the religion. Well, yes. I, I, I don't live in, in, in Costa Rica for two years for, for a missionary. And what's the food is very uh, close or how do you say parecido? Uh, similar. similar, very similar. similar. Oh, it's very similar. To the food of here, the uh, the most important difference is in Costa Rica don't eat tortilla. They eat arroz or rice. Sorry, like a <laughs> chin, like a chain, like a chain. Yeah, yeah. Not not eat tortilla. Eat a lot rice in the in the dish. <laughs> it's, also, they do a line to take the bus, right? Sorry? Uh, they, they, they used to do a line to take the bus. For example, in El Salvador, we don't, we don't, we don't, uh, mm. we don't use lines to take the bus. We, uh, if the bus is in the, in, Metro? in front of you, you take the bus, uh, if you it, it, enter first, you are the <laughs> privileged. <laughs> <No. laughs> yeah, uh, not not do a, a line for a bus, but you have a, a bus station, and the bus uh, is full of the seats and not more people. Uh, Feet up, hop, hop in. Can uh, hop, in. The bus. Can hop in, in the bus. Hop in the bus. Can hop in the bus. Okay. Yeah. What about the be the breakfast in the cost the Costa Rica? The breakfast is the same. Uh, Egg, eggs, beans, beans uh, yeah. rice, and bread. No bread. Bread, yes. yeah, but the bread not is the same in Costa Rica. Only baguette oh, yeah. is the is the bread, is the common bread in in Costa Rica. In every store, do you uh, you find baguette, not no shirt, yeah. <laughs> no pan <Yeah>. francés. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like? the most about the country? Sorry? Uh, what do you like the most about the country? Uh, I think I, I, I like it more uh, is the 
security of the country because I am in the strip on the strip 11 p.m. and kids is playing on the strip, people talking on the strip in from the house and everything is okay. Not any is scary. Okay, we're almost back. Let's just wait for your classmates. Okay, let's see who wants to start and give it a try. Well, first of all, did you hear any new vocabulary on the video? Hello. Hello. The Mexican man was speaking very fast and some words I couldn't yeah. understand. Uh, well, about him, of course. But the others, yes, I understood. Yeah. Hmm? And... But we didn't finish making all the, the exercise that you said, teacher. Really? No, we didn't. We didn't. Because... Okay. But tell me, what were you able to speak among yourselves on your group, you know, to this cause? Yes. Your, Jacqueline. Your, your different experiences. Okay. What did what did Jacqueline say? Uh-huh. Jacqueline. No, you tell me, Sandra. <laughs> oh. let's, okay, let's start practicing narrative. Okay, this is called this is called reported speech. When you tell something that happened, mm -hmm. how it happened, it's difficult. Yes. It's difficult, yeah. and, and you use it a lot. Porque te gusta el chambre, you use it a lot. So, <laughs> right? How do you say chambre? <laughs> How do you say chambre? Gossip. Do you remember Gossip. Canal 2? Gossip. Right? Gossip. Gossip Girl. <laughs> so, what was the name of the series in Spanish? Gossip Girl. Chambrosa. Sí. La Chambrosa. <laughs> that was the name. Bicha chambro, bicha yeah. chambrosa. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, no, uh, it's more polite, <laughs> comunicativa. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, that was the name of Gossip Girl. Okay, so Sandra, one, two, three, yeah. tell me, what's the gossip? Well, the gossip is that we, we watch, uh, we watch the, the video and, and we share, uh, no, 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 we didn't. No, we share what we understood, you know, about about each uh, people who who was who were uh, were and interviewed, mm -hmm. and what we understood about them, and what's the difference of culture they they not. Oh, we lost Hi. her <laughs> uh, when they were in another. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, in Brazil, um, the the girl said that uh, she was born in Stockholm, and and she went to Brazil when she was four, mm -hmm. and then uh, she she has had been one year in Stockholm again, and then she noticed the difference of a culture of people for greeting people each other, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, she noticed a difference for people greeting each other. Okay. 
Yes. Okay. In, in Brazil, they, they kiss a chick and shake the hand, you know? Yeah. Mm. And, and, and then in, in, in Stockholm, they, they kiss the two chicks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, then she was surprised because when she uh, went to Brazil, she wanted to kiss the two chicks to people <laughs> and they said, oh, you have in my, 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 what? My You're inviting space. Yes. My During personal space. My personal space. That's true. Yes. Bye. Mi me va a cobrar más. Okay. And another mm -hmm. another people who can share. Okay. Good. But what did Jacqueline say? What? Mm -hmm. Well, Jacqueline said that she understood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that she yes, understood. teacher. Okay. Was anybody able? Ah. Uh, in my case, uh, Amilcar told told us about he had the opportunity to travel to Mexico, experiment experiment about the the cultural experience. Uh, the, he told us about doesn't like the sweet food. It's common in Mexico to do some food use a lot of sweet, and even though. He told us doesn't like he doesn't like to eat a spicy food, and told us about the typical food in Mexico uh, is the tacos, the tortas, is uh, pozole. But told about it's not good. Sounds weird. No, sounds weird. Tastes weird. That that food. And Saul told us about he had the chance to he had the chance to travel to Guatemala for a work and uh, and discover uh, he found uh, a restaurant. Remember, remember, a uh, someone he asked uh, he and your friends about uh, where. Are you from they? And they tell us, tell uh, the owner of restaurant, uh, they are from El Salvador. And he admire about them, about he like, he, he like El Salvador. And after the drink a couple beers, she, he, talk, he took several photos with them. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, well, Walter, hmm. we have to work something and I need to identify what it is. Okay, we'll find out. Okay, I'm sorry, I just received. <coughs> sorry, I just received a gift. From a, really? Yeah, from a neighbor. Sandra really. Uh, is gift card, gift card, gift card. Yeah, it's a gift card. Oh my god! Gift card. Nice. But I don't know why. Now it's just that I, I help I help my neighbors whenever they need something translated or they need an interview. You know, because I I have some neighbors who have their business and they want to interview people in English, so they contact oh. me and I I do the interview. I conduct the interview, oh, and I oh. pass the and I pass the feedback and I tell them, hey. She knows she's in advanced intermediate, you know, because that was my job before. So, um, yep, yep, yep. Nice. Okay, nice. so can you, Jacqueline? Uh huh. <laughs> okay, teacher. Um, mm -hmm. I'm nervous, teacher. I'm oh, come nervous. on. Don't be nervous. No worries. No worries. <laughs> Is the last class? Don't okay. worry. Tell us, tell us, please, tell us. <laughs> Uh, Sandra and I, we only talk. Se me pone la mente en blanco, teacher. Only talk about the video, teacher. The person uh, that the video, and uh, I, I explain to she, uh, uh, each other people. Cada persona que se Yes, teacher. 
Ok. Ok, veamos algo rapidito con Jacqueline. Si usted no se equivoca, si nadie se equivoca yeah. en este salón, yo no tengo trabajo. Ok, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you already know English. <laughs> ya sabes inglés para more, que me quieras. Yeah. You, you learn more if you make a lot of mistakes. Uh -huh. no, 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 no muchos. No muchos. <risa> no, 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 Sí, por más que yo quiera escribir rápido, van a empezar a ver humo aquí, ¿no? <risa> en serio. Ok, so let's see. Mira, tres frases dijo Jacqueline. Vamos a ver. Sandra and I, eh, perdón, ahí se me fue el, la de, and I, we only talked about the video. ¿Qué, es, qué hay que corregir en esa oración? Sandra y mí. Ah, ok. Y sabes que es lo más chistoso que para corregir a los demás. Oh, yeah. Y es cierto, y está bien, ok. Porque, Ahora, feedback. pero ¿qué te dice esto? ¿Qué te dice yeah. esto, Walter? Todos. Que si yeah. tú te pones a escucharte a ti mismo. Podría yeah. darte un feedback. Ya. Yeah. Ahí empezás a detectar, hijo de puta, ¿cómo dije eso? <risa> oh, ok. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero yeah, hazlo, yeah, pero hazlo. If, oh. if you use a chat, a group of a chat of WhatsApp, if you yeah. only are you and you send yeah. a audio, it's a good mm -hmm. idea for you listening later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. talk well yeah. or you don't talk well and you don't. Espérate, o sea, a un grupo y le pongo a mí mismo y yo. Yeah. Like, <laughs> only you, only you in the group. I got you. Hey, that's crazy. Okay, yeah, let's see. Great. Let's see. Sandra and me. I I use this. <laughs> Good. Thank that's you. It's okay, Miguel. Okay, Sandra and me. No uh -huh. we. No we, right? Porque ya dije yes. el sujeto. Sandra and me is we. Sandra and me only talked oh. about the video. Okay. Sandra and me only talked about the video. Sandra and me just talked about the video. We just talked about the video, but in this case, you had to be a specific, right? Sandra and me. Okay, the persons on the video. Mm -hmm. what? Come on, continue. The persons on the video, what do you need to correct? Las personas en el video, ¿qué tienes que corregir ahí? Person, people. Person. Don't say the. Don't say the. Okay. People mm. on the video. What they say? Yeah. People on the video. On the video. People. People on the video. Oh my god. Okay. That that's it. Generalizing. Generalizing. Yeah. Remember, if you generalize, you don't need the article. You need to pluralize, and the plural for person. People. Yes, people. people. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I explained to she. I explained to, to her. To her? To her. Yes. To her. To her. Mm. Relax. <laughs> I know you Relax. can do it. Yo, <laughs> just, no, 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 no. Yo sí creo en vos. Yo sí creo en vos. Solo tú tenés que creer en ti. Es el único paso, okay? Uh, hey, I explained her. I explained her. Bring her. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Explain her. I explained her. Let's go with Walter. Okay. Okay, Walter. Uh, about he had the. A ver, quiero que, que, que me ayuden yeah. con esto ustedes porque hay que dar ideas. No, yo me probablemente me quedé corto con algunas notas. A ver. About he had. About. Y esa es la área, la área principal de oportunidad ahorita, Walter. Me llegó yeah. que te equivocaste varias veces con lo mismo. ¿Qué sigue después de la preposición? Veamos. About doesn't like. Vamos con eso. Empezamos con eso. Ok. About doesn't like sweet food. Agarramos esa. ¿Qué quiso decir el compañero? The subject. The subject where? Yeah. Yeah. He told us about. Hmm. He told us He about. How he doesn't, like... he doesn't like sweet food. Food, yeah. Okay, he told us about how he... Nos habló acerca de cómo a él no le gusta la comida dulce. Ah, okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, now, yeah. now it makes sense. Okay, veamos el siguiente. He told us... Uh, told about is not good. 
told us told us told us okay don't it, like it it is don't it is. it's it, not good it right he told us it's not he good he told us don't like he doesn't like it he doesn't he like, like oh, yeah. it oh yeah yeah you say he yeah Entonces, su tarea ahorita va a ser, señor, escribir razones yeah. después de esa preposición. Ok. Y okay. esto, esto es eh, reported speech. Esto yeah. es, es, eso es, investiga un poco sobre reported speech. Eh, porque okay. na narrar lo que alguien más dijo, eso es todo. Narrar lo que alguien Exacto. más dijo. Y esa preposición, cuando estás narrando lo que alguien más te ha dicho, te crea confusión. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos. So, about him. <laughs> yeah. He told us about how he had the chance. Quizás about, he told us about, ni siquiera necesito el about. He told yeah. us how he had the chance to travel. Okay. He narrated to us when he had the chance to travel and it was amazing and da da da. Yeah. Right? After they drank, oh, after they drank a couple of beers, mm -hmm. they drank past past drank, so, yeah yeah after they drank and so on oh okay áreas de oportunidad en general que noté mientras que ustedes estaban platicando y por eso me gusta ponernos a platicar what's the past for answer answer answers okay answer. so answer. look look you have answer 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 sure. Answer. Second answer. rule. La segunda regla que les envié en el video corto. Revísenlo. Answered. 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 Va, corrijámoslo todo de un solo. La forma base. Answer. Answer. Vas a decir, answer. ojo, vas a decir answer. 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 Ahí está, ahí está en el chat. Answer. 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 Repeat, repeat, repeat. Answer me. Answer. Answer, answer me. me. Come on, answer, answer me. me. Answer, answer me. me. Answer me. And then, and then she answered me. Answered me. Answered. And then she answered. 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 Okay. Answered. 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 Is that true? Is it true? It's true. 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 Mm, ¿Qué falta ahí? Good night. Is, is it true? Uy, cuidado con el artículo. Is it yeah. true? Yeah. Is, is it true? 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 Cuidado. I can say it is true. No, porque es una pregunta y ese es el yeah. punto. Siempre con yes. el verbo to be, aunque llegues avanzado, vas a cometer el error natural, <risa> natural, de convertir una afirmación en pregunta solo por la fonética. Y de decir, it is true. <risa> no, it's true. It's true. Te va a pasar, te va a pasar. Y está ah. bien, no te preocupes, trata de corregirlo. Is it true? 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 Sí, no, hombre, si después ya ni te vas a acordar de esto y vas a decir, are you for real? <risa> yeah, that's the way. You're going to say, are you for real? O solo le vas a decir a la gente, for real? For real? For real? <coughs> okay. I don't have the chance to travel the another country. Eh, tu, su cerebro te va a jugar y ni cuenta te vas a dar. I don't have the chance, uy, perdón, chance, chance, chance to travel <coughs> the another country. Mm -mm. Another. To travel another, another country. Another. To, another. to another. No, thanks. To another country. To another country. No es the another country. Be careful. To another country. Y muy bien. Another, singular, uh, other, another. plural. Very good. Uh, for, ah. Quiero que corrijamos eso, señores. A ver. Um, muy básico este error, ¿eh? For example, the language Spanish 
sounds very different. For example, I like the color black that and the color like red. Fun. I like traveling. I like and the black and the I red color. Never I like the black color. I like like color. Que For example, the language of Spanish sounds very different. The adjective. Mm, which adjective? Que That's okay. The I don't mind working. The Spanish language. Spanish yeah. language. Ah, no, muy bien. The order. The El orden. Yeah, the order. It's no será que yo no, yo no necesito colors. decir que es un color, decir que es un lenguaje. Mm -hmm. Incluso el artículo. For example, Spanish sound. For example, Spanish sounds very different. Si está en contexto que estoy hablando de un idioma, ¿para qué voy a decir que es un idioma? Si <laughs> está en contexto que y esto es bien común. Eh? Uh, for example, I like black. Black color. And red. Uh -huh. la diferencia. For example, Spanish sounds very different in in Spain, right? Than in Latin America. A clear example. Okay, for example, I like black and red. Mm -hmm. You got it? Yes. Yes. I guess. Yes. 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 The place not is the same. Hmm. Place not is the same. Is not. Place not is the same. The place. 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 Espera, <risa> no. <risa> no voy a conseguir ese meme y lo voy a meter aquí en Zoom. El de, el de... no, así no. <risa> el negrito, <risa> ok. Ok, siguiente error. El último ya. Ya, teacher, no, no mole este. No, hey, a ver, ¿qué, qué está mal con esta oración? What's wrong? What's wrong with this? I like, I like, I like more. I like more. No. I like it. The security in this country. I like it. What? Jensi, you got it? Yeah. I like it. The security. The security about the country. Mm. I like the security. The security, well, I like uh, it. I'm, uh, mm. I will check out that. I like the security. About about the security yeah. in this country okay. is more. Y ese es el tema que vamos a ver mañana. ¿Cómo? Y me, me llegó que pura casualidad, mira, terminamos con esta oración. Donde vas a tener que utilizar. One thing I, I would like. The city. The city? Dios mío, 50 dólares. Wow. I like this, the security in this country. It's 596. The security in this country, I like it. But it's more. I like yeah. the security yeah. in this country. Yeah. But what about more? It's a state your security. Mm -hmm. okay, I bueno, like the security in this country. <laughs> what I uh, like, easy. vamos a ver, va, mañana, mañana vamos a ver esto. What I like the like most, the most about this country or my country, yeah. como quieran, country is is security is security or is the security is security security system is the security system so i'm specific muy bien is security is the security in some neighborhoods okay security in the neighborhoods and so on so tomorrow we're going to talk about noun phrases noun no. phrases containing relative clauses of subjects. Oops. Eso es eh, frases eh, 
que te sirven como sujeto prácticamente. Okay. Yes. Y ahora bien, llevan una cláusula que es relativa, es decir, y pueden ser sujetos, ¿ok? O oh, objetos. Yes. objetos. Suena complejo, yes. pero al verlo con muchos pero ejemplos, ya se, ya se fijaron que así estamos haciendo, ¿eh? A puros ejemplos, vamos entendiendo la gramática yes. sin necesidad de explicarla mucho, o sea, sino aplicarla en lugar de aplicarla, mm -hmm. ¿ok? That's better. Ok. Okay. okay. I'll see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.